Okay, so here are the components of the belt path. I'm going to draw with a marker the actual path. So we start out, we'll start out up at this upper idler. I'm going to go over to the water pump. From the water pump to this tensioner. To the tensioner. From here to the crankshaft. To the air conditioning compressor. Around the air conditioning compressor up to the alternator. Around the alternator down to this lower idler. And the lower idler back up to the upper idler. So what we're going to do then is put our 17 millimeter combination wrench on that nut and move it this way toward the uh, firewall to release the tension while to slip the belt off. What I'm using on this Hyundai belt, serpentine 17 millimeter combination wrench. I'm going to use this end on the nut for the tensioner. Then I use a turnbuckle. Uh, also, I have a little S hook that I use to hold the belt. It's a little trick I have to uh, keep the tension off the belt, which makes it a lot easier to take it in and out. Before you do any work, always disconnect the battery. Okay, so I'm setting my wrench up on the nut. It so happens that I can get it on there in such a way that it's pretty much right up against this. And I put my little hook on here. And my uh, turnbuckle. And I simply tighten the turnbuckle up. So here you can see my arrangement from the other angle. Set the turnbuckle on the wrench. On the closed end, the box end of the wrench. Here's my hook. You know, sitting on a bracket here. This is one way to do it. I mean, otherwise, you, one person can do it. I've done before, but it's quite a struggle and frustrating. This just works a lot better. Here's a little bit better angle, better light here. Let's see what I'm doing. This is really kind of a, it's really tight quarters on this belt between the wheel well, the wheel well and the belt path. I'm basically going to turn this all the way. Remember on this that you have the battery disconnected. Be safe when you work on a belt. We're getting to the point where it's about as tight as I can get it. There. So now as you can see we have the tension off the belt. Off it comes. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the belt out and without removing my little helper here. Which is possible to do if you work it around, take it off all the other pulleys and then pull it up through there. The way I like to thread this through is with the wrench still on there. And uh, I'm going to show how I do it um, with a piece of wire. You would slip it through here between the tensioner and the lower idler and then open it up fit it around the crankshaft around the AC and then after that you'd make a loop here and fit it up between the tensioner and this upper idler and then loop it around the water pump the last thing you do this loop here is pull this one down with it and push it through with a screwdriver around that lower idler. Um, and then when it's around the lower idler, you can slip it over the upper idler to finish up. This works pretty good, and it's just a way to do it without having to take your little tension releasing uh, equipment off of there. But if you do take that off, then you simply can put it back on however you want. But I'd recommend going low first, and then just reduce, release the tension uh, at the end when it's pretty much in place. And I'm putting it back on, I'm going to put it I'm not going to show all this because it's just too hard to get views of it, but I'm going to start off by putting it around the, uh, the lower parts of the belt path first, around the crankshaft. I'll get it around the crankshaft, compressor and the alternator, and then work it up through the tensioner, this lower idler, and then the upper idler. Okay, so now I've got it 
I had it looped it around the water pump. And um, what we've got left here, I'm going to go next for the tensioner. So now we're going to try to sneak it around. The uh, alternator and that, tin and that idler below it. So I'm going to use a screwdriver now. I'm holding it. Get it down past the nut that's on this lower tensioner. This lower idler. So now we're just going to re-establish our, take the turn, loosen the turnbuckle here. And once you get this loosened enough, you can just crank it by hand here. I just like this method. Uh, if, you, if you'd like to if you do it by yourself, it makes it a lot easier. It's possible to do such a thing like this with one person, but way better if you don't have something like this to help you out. So we're just going to hook our battery back up, and then we'll test this. Ten millimeter on this. Thanks again for watching this little video tutorial on uh, changing out the serpentine belt 2011-2014 Hyundai Sonata. Have a good one. Thanks again for watching.